So, um... Human robots. My friends. The chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. And in fact, all of the enabling technologies that I've been talking about is going to make it possible for us in the next several years to see very rapid breakthroughs, surprising breakthroughs in, in general robotics. Now, the reason why general robotics is so important is whereas robots with tracks and wheels require special environments to accommodate them, there are three robots Three robots in the world that we can make that require no green fields. Brown field adaptation is perfect. If we, if we could possibly build these amazing robots, we could deploy them in exactly the world that we've built for ourselves. These three robots are, one, agentic robots, and agentic AI, because you know they're information workers, so long as they could accommodate uh, the computers that we have in our offices, it's gonna be great. Number two, self-driving cars, and the reason for that is we spent 100 plus years building roads and cities. And then number three, human or robots. If we have the technology to solve these three, this will be the largest technology industry the world's ever seen. And so we think that the robotics era is just around the corner. The critical capability is how to train these robots. In the case of human or robots, the Imitation information is rather hard to collect. And the reason for that is, uh, in the case of car, you just drive it. We're driving cars all the time. In the case of these human or robots, the imitation information, the, the human demonstration is rather laborious to do. And so we need to come up with a clever way to take hundreds of demonstrations, thousands of human demonstrations, and somehow use artificial intelligence and omniverse to synthetically generate millions of synthetically generated motions. And from those motions, the AI can learn uh, how to perform a task. Let me show you how that's done. Developers around the world are building the next wave of physical, AI-embodied robots, humanoids. Developing general-purpose robot models requires massive amounts of real-world data, which is costly to capture and curate. NVIDIA Isaac Groot helps tackle these challenges, providing humanoid robot developers with four things. Robot foundation models, data pipelines, simulation frameworks, and a Thor robotics computer. The NVIDIA Isaac Groot blueprint for synthetic motion generation is a simulation workflow for imitation learning, enabling developers to generate exponentially large data sets from a small number of human demonstrations. First, Groot Teleop enables skilled human workers to portal into a digital twin of their robot using the Apple Vision Pro. This means operators can capture data even without a physical robot, and they can operate the robot in a risk-free environment, eliminating the chance of physical damage or wear and tear. To teach a robot a single task, operators capture motion trajectories through a handful of teleoperated demonstrations, then use Groot Mimic to multiply these trajectories into a much larger data set. Next, they use Groot Gen built on Omniverse and Cosmos for domain randomization and 3D to real upscaling, generating an exponentially larger data set. The Omniverse and Cosmos Multiverse Simulation Engine provides a massively scaled data set to train the robot policy. Once the policy is trained, developers can perform software in the loop testing and validation in Isaac Sim before deploying to the real robot. The age of general robotics is arriving, powered by NVIDIA Isaac Groot. 
we're going to have mountains of data to train robots with. <laughs> NVIDIA Isaac Group. NVIDIA Isaac Group. This is our platform to provide technology, platform, technology elements to the robotics industry to accelerate the development of general robotics. And, um, well, I have one more thing that I want to show you. None of, none of, this, none of this would be possible if not for uh, this incredible project that we started uh, about a decade ago. Inside the company was called Project, project Digits. Deep Learning GPU Intelligence Training System. Digits. Well, before we launched it, uh, I shrunk it to DGX. And to harmonize it with RTX, AGX, OVX, and all of the other Xs that we have in the company. And, and, um, I, and, and it really revolutionized. Uh, DGX1 really revolutionized. Where, where's DGX1? DGX1 revolutionized uh, artificial intelligence. The reason why we built it was because we wanted to uh, make it possible for researchers and startups to have an out-of-the-box AI supercomputer. Imagine the way supercomputers were built in the past. You really have to uh, build your own facility and you have to go build your own infrastructure and really engineer it into existence. And so we created a supercomputer for AI, for AI development for researchers and, and startups that comes literally one out of the box. I delivered the first one to a startup company in 2016 called OpenAI. And Elon was there and, and Ilya Suskover was there and uh, many of the NVIDIA engineers were there. And, and um, uh, we, we celebrated the arrival of DGX1 and uh, obviously... Uh, it revolutionized uh, artificial intelligence and computing. Um, but now artificial intelligence is everywhere. It's not just in researchers and, and, and startup labs. You know, we want artificial intelligence, as I mentioned in the beginning of our talk, this is now the new way of doing computing. This is the new way of doing software. Every software engineer, every engineer, every creative artist, everybody who uses computers today as a tool will need an AI supercomputer. And so I just, wished, I just wished that DGX1 was smaller. And, um, you know, so, so um, you know, imagine, ladies and gentlemen, our... This is NVIDIA's latest AI supercomputer. And, and it's finally called Project Digits right now. And if you have a good name for it, uh, reach out to us. Um, uh, this, here's the amazing thing. This is an AI supercomputer. It runs the entire NVIDIA AI stack. All of NVIDIA software runs on this. DGX Cloud runs on this. This sits, well, somewhere, and it's wireless or you know, connected to your computer. It's even a workstation if you like it to be. And you could access it, you could, you could reach it like a, like a cloud supercomputer, and NVIDIA's AI works on it. And um, it's based on a, a super secret chip that we've been working on called GB110, the smallest Grace Blackwell that we make. And I have, well, you know what, let's show, let's show everybody inside. 